Nick, you were always our engineering wizard when it came to cuckoo ships. What did we call the super engine? I think we just engine? called this the crystal drive, didn't we? This was this was this was the crystal core that powers all um, mm-hmm. technology on the ship, um, but also predominantly the piercing array, the multi drive, and the um, nacelles. And the nacelles yeah. Right. Okay. So in front of you is the crystal drive, mm. a vast, as the name would suggest, crystalline structure looking like a most beautiful diamond. Uh, large, I may maybe even uh, ten foot high, with cables and wiring. You're in an open space, probably the largest, um, second to only to the bridge in mm. terms of space that you've seen. It is thick. It is like a jungle with slime. Mm. If you can imagine a thick undergrowth, uh, you know, vines hanging from the ceiling. It said, instead. In this instance, it is all tendrils of slime and Lovely. mucus dripping, stalactites of slime. And just as on the bridge, you saw weird coral-like structures draw- growing yeah. out of the mucus. You can see that these are here again, but in an even greater number, growing around the these crystal are engine. These are the larvae, aren't they? Yeah. And also, they're growing bizarre structures. Based on what Aaron Wan has told you, the virus, every particle of the virus contains all the information of the whole. It's like a hologram. And it can grow and build incredibly complex structures. And these things are now growing off the crystal drive, which is humming and vibrating with an energy which makes you a little un- unwell to look at. It kind of makes you feel a bit nauseous. Nice. You get the impression that these structures are more than just... Well, they're more than just growths. It's almost like biological engineering. Machinery. Okay. Um, first thing, can we stop the engine? Well, I've got my utility belt. I've got a wrench, a screwdriver. I'll uh, give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to work out what's happening first. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'd like you to take a deduction check, okay. please. And again, it is a mechanic. It is mechanical based, and this is your your field of expertise. It is. Let's not forget we can draw from the world as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh come on! <laughs> Eight die, and I got three. That's bad. That's rubbish. <laughs> so I bash it. <laughs> Clash, bash, bash. Um, you you know you're looking at it, and you realise that this is kind of beyond saving. Okay. You know, uh, you think um, this thing has a real chance that it will it will power on. Mm-hmm. You can't say what state the ship will be in, uh, at at the end, but this thing is is essentially locked into a. Uh, it can't be turned off now. Okay. Basically, so it's powering up. It's powering up, mm-hmm. and you you cannot. There's sadly there is no peaceful off switch. Right. Can we shoot Another the solution. crystal drive? Yeah. Let's damage it. How can we damage it? Uh, well, you've got a wish. We've all got pistols. I've got a pistol. I've got two. I need to save wishes. We know mm. it's a big guy. Yeah. You're well aware that um, outright damaging it, well, I mean, that'd be very effective. It would probably also kill us up kill us all. It would kill you all. <laughs> it would kill me even describing it. No, it would just, we, Whilst in the real world. We yeah. would feel, game. We, anyone listening to this would, would be <laughs> compromised by, <laughs> by your actions there. Um, mm. We need to act fast. Yeah, In- I think we all need to take inspiration checks. Good okay, idea. inspiration. And does anyone want to borrow from the world? My inspiration sucks, I so think I might I do will. it. Again. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. running out of soul. This might be. A- all right, I'll do it. Too. Yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> I get nothing. Ooh, five, four, zero. Oh. <laughs> Ritual does not help. No. <laughs> Ritual walks into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, Lenex, you realise that this thing cannot be turned off, but mm. you think it is within your power uh, to uh, channel its own energies inwards. You uh, think you can okay. certainly create an infinite feedback loop which will detonate. Cool. The self-destruct ship. system yeah. kind of essentially there's no this thing is building and building and building and all its pent up energy is is going somewhere right. but you think rather than letting the ship fire up and leave this universe you can essentially set it to commit suicide okay. so I'm going to hack 
the power conduits and bypass the the Keep energy going. drive to make it self-destruct. Say plasma. Plasma. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> could you um, could you say cyber as well? <laughs> <laughs> cyber plasma. Cyber plasma. Cyber. <laughs> okay. You guys wouldn't understand. You? <laughs> no, we really I'm don't. The that, engineer. that sounded like you were making it up. I mean. <laughs> okay, so um, are you in agreement that that's what you're going to do? You're going to try and set it and. Yes. Um, I, Lynette, I pause how... from bashing my head against the wall to go, yes, do that, Lynette. <laughs> so how, how much time can you give us? Because we've already got 20 yeah. minutes before it takes off or activates mm-hmm. or whatever. If you create this feedback loop, how long will we have before it blows? As a guess, I know. Oh, well, I reckon it's going to be 10 minutes, maybe 12. Okay. Does okay. that sound... Ridiculous? No, I think that's fair. I'd say, uh, given the time it's taking you to get yeah, to the engine like room, and minutes. the fact, like, you know, this thing is building to a mm. crescendo... Mm-hmm. Uh, cres- crescendo. Cres- Thank you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, it's building to that point, and you uh, can essentially just plug the wrong thing into the right thing, mm. and then it will just be a case of Get out. Getting out. Yeah. Uh, Matura, does your scanner have a timer on it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yes. Let's turn it on. I'll set my. I'll Do set an alarm the for app? ten minutes. <laughs> I left my phone on the ship. We could have used that. Uh, okay. Uh, I would like you all to take a strategy. This is bad. Check. Okay. This is very bad. Uh, Anybody want to logic? Yeah. Which color is logic? Uh, that uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yellow is standing in the green. Two. I'm going to take one. I did not take. Uh, I got four anyway. Yeah. I got three. I got three. Okay. <laughs> I didn't uh, borrow from the world. And I still got a higher <laughs> score than both of you. That's because you already had enough. Okay. While um, you know you you kind of have the agreement now that you have to run this thing to commit suicide, basically. Uh, as you are talking about this, um, Aaron One uh, places his hand against the structure. This immense kind of mucus-like slope which is growing up against the wall and he pushes his hand against it almost you know without thinking and it cracks now you've become accustomed to seeing this bizarre biological architecture on all the walls to the point where your mind is almost editing it out now this is just the environment you operate so you realize now why you missed it that this shape against the wall is not purely mucus there is something within it oh no (laughs) there is a crack an almighty crack as the crust breaks and moves and rises to its feet (laughs) and what you took before to be simply a small hillock of mucus turns and is revealed as a humanoid figure Easily twelve foot tall, almost twelve foot wide. Is right. this is and I have his name here now. This is Hestus. He's he's, he's within a construct of mucus. Basically, yeah. Uh, he uh, as the mucus is broken free, you get the impression he hasn't moved in however long. He's just been lying there or hunched over as the mucus has grown over him. And based on what Aaron told you, you know he didn't have much intelligence to begin with. He didn't have much of a he was a, a lovable giant uh, from a race known for stupendous size and power. Good. And essentially, <laughs> Good-o. Uh, while the virus has wasted regular humanoids, turning them into th- sacks of skin and bone, his enhanced metabolism and durability has allowed him to, well, remain vital for longer. But you see as he turns to face you that he is a walking mounting of pestilence and the mucus which has cracked in places has grown a thick crust all over his body there are even like strange structures like as again like coral or mushrooms growing off the top of his head um i I want to i think i think we protect lynette and he turns (laughs) to face you of course he does and roars hello um i wonder whether you release a big wave of energy now i'll do loads of damage around the area yeah, also, I th- we don't really have time to talk like this. Uh, do we? Yeah, I was going to say you are kind of doing this <laughs> yeah. in the middle of like yeah. a, essentially a nuclear reactor. Uh, yeah. So uh, given the effects that a shock wave had on the bridge, mm, I wouldn't do this. No. Mm, no, no. Right, Lynette, you focus on getting that thing broken. Okay, proper broken. I'm yeah. gonna. Um, I'm gonna get my spear and my pistol. 
Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so this uh, Hesculus is kind of like turning his uh, animal-like attention towards you. You're not sure what drives him now, but it's certainly malevolent. And uh, Aaron Wan begins backing off. Uh, Hestus raises a fist towards Aaron Wan. Oh. Len, uh, Capella. Yeah. What do you do? Um, I immediately fire both um, shields from my, from my wrists at the shoulder of the arm that's raised in an attempt to launch them so hard and so fast that I could, in a dream state, <laughs> sever it. Wow. That's the plan. That this may use up what's left of the shields. I acknowledge that. Okay, fine. So it's fine. So um, <laughs> are you attacking? Should we say how are you attacking? Is this a uh, this would be um, this would be brute strength, wouldn't it? This would just be four, uh, four dice, I guess. Grand. Unless you, you want, want to borrow, borrow power. Yeah, let's borrow. Let's take it up to. We need this to be good. <laughs> and you get, you get the plus some. two with the. Um, because of the shields as well. Uh, yeah, oh no, I've, I've yeah, factored yeah. that in. Yeah, yeah I've factored that in. So uh, yeah, okay, I'll add one power from the world. That's what I'll do. Here we go. Come on, you shields. Oh my god. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very good. He's rolling a lot of dice. <laughs> That's a bad sign. Yeah, I'm sorry. Multiple so- times. <laughs> yeah, the shields uh, hit with resounding force uh, against uh, kind of Hescus's shoulder and explode uh, in a rather delightful display of, <laughs> go- of golden <laughs> energy, cracking uh, a great big structure of mucus off the side of it, uh, to the point where his arm is knocked backwards, uh, kind of prevented him, preventing him from bringing the strike down, but seemingly doing no damage at all to Hestus. I mean, he pauses... And looks at his arm, <laughs> and then looks at you, and howls, and uh, charges towards you. Okay. Um, I would like to try and get out of the way because <laughs> I feel like I'm standing quite close. You're to probably this. stood alongside yeah. me, yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, how far? I mean, obviously we're in the engine room here, so he's not that far away, really. This is not like a ranged. No, no, he's kind of yeah. like uh, he's kind of. There's not a lot of thought in his action, yeah. so he's yeah. kind of like just barreling towards you, and you just happen to be in his path. Okay, um, I would like. I'm going to try and get out of the way. My dexterity sucks, so I'm going to borrow uh, a couple of change from the world because we've got plenty of those left. Uh, so I will be throwing three dice. Good luck. You can do it. Three. You just start. You just use your I, I'm just to dive diving to out of the way. Okay, you dive to the side. However, uh, Hestus kind of like, uh, you, uh, you're you not quite quick enough and you catch a glancing blow to your side and you take one damage. Okay. I'm just going to tally. <laughs> okay, um, he's charging towards you. I'm going to say that, uh, Lynette, you're, you're off working. to the side mm-hmm. working on the engine. That's His fine. attention is temporarily drawn to the big shiny things in front of him. It's going to get a whole lot shinier. So uh, you see Ratua dive to the side and Hescus comes towards you. Full suit of armour. Wish. Burn hard. Five minutes. We can do this. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> biggest th- biggest summon I've ever done. Like, I, I raised to a height similar Describe the armour. Give me... <laughs> <laughs> Floating panels of, like polygonal and spherical shapes sort of almost circling orbiting around my body but to the extent that my legs and arms and sort of shoulder and head are now much larger made entirely out of golden light this appears sort of instantaneously around me and sort of slightly orbits around my limbs like an orrery kind of Mm -hmm. um and i sort of take a sort of defensive like one a leg back yeah. bracing pose to so you, take his impact so you've basically kind of like hulk busted it up i have exactly right hulk busted it up made out of golden light would you say <laughs> uh and you know please feel free to paraphrase here but <laughs> out of all the things you've encountered so far some things may have been slightly less real would you say that things <laughs> just got real <laughs> right it's on <laughs> It's That's really on. Mar- marvellously done. <laughs> uh, because of that, I'm going to give you... I'm going to say that you're going to get a plus four modifier Fantastic. on your armour. Yeah. Uh, again, this will not be long-lasting. No. And this will be your second wish. But yeah, you've just kind of gone full. So this is plus four just in defence. This is plus four so... strength, isn't it? Plus four when used, you know, creatively, basically. Okay. So, uh, you know, depending on the application, we'll say that's how it works. But yeah. Okay. So uh, Hescus is coming towards you and... Uh, 
at, you know, swings an arm okay. towards you. Um, then I guess I uh, let's just let's just punch exchange. Let's just smash him back like uppercut to the to the lower jaw. Okay, okay, fair yeah. enough. So um, yeah, um, <laughs> and that's that's going to be strength all in six dice. This is very distracting, by the way. <laughs> I lost one. Oh no! Yeah. Do you want to count the score? Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. no, that's you it. no, no, that, that wasn't a roll. I just dropped it before I even began. It's not as good as it could be. To be fair, that's only four. Unfortunately, with all those die. Wow! Die. After all that. Right? <laughs> 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 um, you um. You glance, uh, you kind of hit him in a kind of like, uh, you're able to catch him mm. underside the chin. Uh, do not, you do not do any damage to him, okay. however, but it is enough to send him and you kind of tumbling to the side. So the two of you kind of barrel backwards <laughs> okay. in, into the wall. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Lynette, uh, yes. uh, I'm going to say, however, your attention is... Uh, uh, sadly devoted mm-hmm. towards doing yeah. this task in front of you. <laughs> Could you please... Um, well, basically, I'm going to need a mechanical check and yeah. I'm going to let you decide whether it's I knowledge think that would or be deduction. Knowledge. Okay. I mean, my deduction is very high, but I think this would be knowledge. Okay, because fine. Because I... You know, I'm, inf- I'm not learning anything through deduction. I am taking what I already know and I'm just putting into practice what I know how to do. Awesome. That makes sense. You're just so, going through the motions. Yeah, so I get three for that, but I get a fourth because it's a mechanical bonus. So. And don't forget these magic blue yes, cubes. Let's go for a blue cube as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so five die. Come on. Uh, four. Marvellous. Okay, yeah, so um, you uh, feel the first, a little light mm-hmm. turns from green to red in front of you, as you've made the first connection. So there's like a, two more connections to make, but you awesome. reckon you're getting there. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, so the two of you kind of skid to a halt. Uh, you pick yourself up and... Uh, well, is it, whose turn is it? You, you had the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think um, I led the strategy role because yeah. I was four, yeah. you were three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you see that Hescus uh, begins to pick himself up, but you momentarily have the advantage. Like you rise to your feet and he's on all fours, kind of lumbering, bringing himself up. Uh, I want to charge as a sort of tackle to pin him against a wall. That's what I'm going to go for. Nice. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go... Uh, it'll just be all in strength again, mm-hmm. uh, which is six dice. And I pull from the world as well, get an extra one, because I'm really... <laughs> this one. Come on. Come on. That's pretty good. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you, um, you are able to, just because he's kind of getting his, his bearings, you're able to smash him against the wall. Uh, yeah, and he's kind of like uh, stunned. Mm. Basically, not much intelligence. Because you've got <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Um, I'd like to take a pot shot with my pistol. Yeah. Marvellous. I'd like to try and fire at him. Um, pistols were dexterity, weren't they? Well, no, I mean, I see all of us. I, mean, I, would like to, I would like to make the case that I can attack with strategy. Like try and aim really carefully. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice! So, uh, yeah. where where are you aiming? For? I am aiming for the closest thing to a head I can see. <laughs> Marvelous. <yeah. laughs> the head's encased, isn't it? Yeah. In, in mucus, is it? Oh, yeah. No, it's you like did a, cra- like bro- break his jaw. Yeah, but that was a really weak roll. Yeah, but yeah, it's more kind of like his his shoulder, oh, okay. like the side of his. Uh... So I'm going to take um, well three dice, so two for my natural strategy and plus one for the pistol. Okay. Come on, we're Four. That's hey. good. Marvelous. Uh, you hit him square in the eyes. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and uh, great. So, yeah, you, the blast is super effective, and you blast him directly in the eyes and do four points of damage. Mm, nice. Nice. Bravo. Okay, to the point where he uh, kind of. Uh, Capella is kind of like. It's just kind of like slammed him. Against the wall, this blast comes from the side, yeah. lances into his eyes, to the point, and he just kind of like howls and starts kind of batting like a like a wounded animal, and temporarily blinded to the point where he can't work out what's going on. Cool. Would Aaron like to join in at any point? Uh, I guess Aaron is holding a gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah so he's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Aaron uh, raises uh, his gun and uh, kind of. Uh, Utters a small apology under his under his breath oh. to to Hestus, his old friend, and uh, fires. Dun, 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 dun. 
Come on, Aaron. This one, however, hits uh, Hester square in the chest, but does no, no, damage. no damage whatsoever. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, I think it's fair to say... Oh, Lynette, can we just have another uh, mechanical check? Sure. Quickly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yes, knowledge plus one bonus. Uh, ooh, five. Nice. Nice. So the second light turns red. Cool. You've done it. Oh. So sorry, one more, one more to go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I would like uh, da, 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 Capella. I would like you to take a deduction check, please. Uh, okay, it's not bad. Deduction. Um, three. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, you uh, you are begin to worry a little bit. You realise that with Hestus's strength We're and not. the limited damage you've been able to do to him so far, you worry that you may not be able to defeat him in a battle of brute right. force. And you're well aware that your wish is, is fast down. burning out. So, okay, I've yeah. got an idea. Um, okay, so bear in mind he's temporarily blinded but quickly recovering, and you can, you have a moment having pressed up against against the and wall. And it's me, is it? Yes. Okay. Um, with this newly gleaned knowledge and fear, um, I want to eject the armor off me and onto him to pin him in place. Wow! And then leave it behind. I mean, don't give him the armor. <laughs> but it's, I'm in control of it, so it's still okay. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's like kind of like what Iron Man does at the end of Iron Man right, Three. I'm with you. That's that's the thinking. That's quite impressive. <laughs> I will say that is that is awesome. So does much. It, does it matter that he's twice your size? I, I've gone to pretty much his size with my arm. Okay, that was yeah, the, that's that was the thinking. Yeah. We were like Hulkbustering it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. No, in fact, that is so impressive. I'm going to let you have an advantage. Oh wow! Thank you. On, uh, <laughs> this will, however, be a strategy. Uh, okay. Attack. Well, that's, I, okay, that's cool. Yes, of course, because it's sort of like a plan. Isn't yeah. It? That's the only catch. I'm going to let you have a uh, sh- uh, bonus of plus two. Plus two. That Brilliant. Line. That takes me up to five. I think that might be enough to give it a shot. Although, what is strategy? That's logic. We could draw from the world here. We've got enough. And yeah, this is pretty do dangerous. It. I'm going to take an extra one uh, and go for it. Oh my goodness, that's only a three. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. It goes out the window. <laughs> okay, um, you, um, you know, it looks really cool. <laughs> Ultimately, that's what we all have to remember here. Yeah, uh, that's you, what we'll be remembering. You cast your arms wide, and as you do it, kind of like leap backwards, kind of, kind of putting yourself, he's like a pinned ape, you know, like one of his arms could just take your, you know, your head off. So you throw yourself backwards, and it looks pretty badass. Like, <laughs> and that's kind of like wiring, and just kind of looks up and goes, <laughs> really impressive oh, at the same time the, pa- the plates of your armour fly free and as you say wrap begin to like kind of plate themselves onto Hestus's body mm. uh, fixing him in place however it's only partially successful and you see that like they clamp across his chest the side of his face as best they can with like all the mucus that's across him mm. one of his arms is is successfully bound by the armor, so that his movements become impaired. However, and has his legs as well, like he's wrestling against it. But one of his arms is still free. Is still free. Okay, and he uh, kind of s- stumbles forward and tries to backhand you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this massive arm is coming towards you. Okay, dexterity, get out of the way, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll do a sort of hopefully. A kick-ass ninja roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes down with my rolls as they've been so far. That's not bad. Six. Come on. Dodge that hand. That big old hand. Uh, I'm sorry to say that he glances you. Okay, just a glance. To the point where you are knocked backwards and you take two two damage. Okay, I'm now down to nine, which isn't quite half. No, but... you're not quite on health, so you're certainly uh, winded. Okay. Yep. Uh, Rutuar, you see uh, Capella go flying mm-hmm. backwards yeah. several feet uh, and kind of hit quite yeah. hard on the floor. Uh, you see uh, Hestus um, struggling. The plates are still kind of orbiting him, mm-hmm. trying to like kind of clamp onto his body. But he's still got this one arm free mm-hmm. and his legs, he's he's wrestling against it. What do you do? Uh, I'd like to try and shoot him again. Okay. <laughs> oh, what are you thinking? Um... Bear in mind, you saw that Adam, uh, Aaron Wong's kind of attack hit him in the chest and didn't do yeah, a massive... Yeah, I'm going to go for strategy again and I'm going to try and aim for the face again. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes this time with him flailing around. Mm-hmm. Three. 
Okay, yeah, you blast him in the eyes once more. This time, however, you only do one damage. Okay. Very nice. Okay, Lynette, Lynette, Lynette sorry, Lynette. your time to shine. Aaron, okay. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take uh, some logic. Okay, yeah, that's yep. logic. Yep. yep. Take an extra die. So I've got five. Uh, six. Wow, you absolutely smash it. Nice yeah. The uh, last light turns red. Mm. And there is a... You can instantly... You all are instantly aware that there is a change in pitch of the humming from the uh, engine. And while it was already making you a little uneasy to look at, it kind of hurt your eyes to look at it. It begins to vibrate at a frequency mm. which you know is is more than just... Moving in more than just the dimensions you're familiar with. The, mm. the engine is not looking good. Okay. Okay. We need to leave now. Is, is, yes. Does Hester still have your wish armor on him? Yes. Yeah. Are like, you able to maybe pin pin him enough that we can get past and leave? I him could do here? another check to see if I can constrain him further with my still connected mentally mm-hmm. mental attachment to the armor. Because if this is about to blow up, we don't need to beat him. We just need to get away from him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the plan with the original yeah. thing. I did it really badly. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, yeah, give... Um, improve the pinning. Yeah, let's go strategy, please. Strategy, okay. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to borrow. Uh, let's change that one. No, sorry, it's not. It's logic. It's logic. Right. There's yeah. only two left in the world of logic. Well, yeah, this could be nothing. it. No, okay, let's take out. it, because that's quite exciting to run out of, a, of an element. <laughs> okay. Here we go. That is bad. Oh. Three. <laughs> this plan is good, but not working. <laughs> Not as you know, not a great role. However, Hester lacks the ah. foresight or the even awareness to try and prevent him, prevent you pinning him. So one of these plates, or rather two of the plates, which were trying to like clamp onto his upper arm, instead kind of change their orientation and clamp doubly clamp onto his wrist, okay. bringing his wrist back around behind his back, kind of pinning him, ah, and yeah. with a twist and a howl and a thrash he kind of crashes to the floor in front of you and he's kind of twitching and kind of roaring like a beast and uh, <laughs> but he is at least as long as his wish holds incapacitated wow run away cool. run away yeah run, 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 run. and uh, just to add to the ambience there is now let's say a klaxon <laughs> okay so Aaron Wan helps uh capella to the feet thank you okay um <laughs> Let's run go. away, run away. Mm. Run away. So we need What's to... the quickest? Is there like a handy broken bit of the ship that we can get out of? Well, no, think about it. All we need to, to do... go all the way up. We just need to staircase it. We're yeah. at the back where the staircase is. We just need to staircase to the bridge and then out through the glass. That's what we can do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, because you you um you saw the top end of this staircase right right back at the start. Yeah. Of the yeah. Adventure, basically. We just spiral right to the top. It was broken though. Like we couldn't go down. Yes, I mean, but bear in mind, it's like a three story ah. kind of staircase. So, you know, you've seen trying to get this around my head you've seen the bottom two right yeah and we've seen the top two. and right at the top it was broken going down so which we means we won't be able to get the up bridge from it that's yeah. a very good point but bear in mind like i mean you but guys will be able to reach the corridor we've got aaron as well who can mm. help us we can reach floor up. one yeah we can yeah. reach the, the what just before the bridge we can reach that corridor. would it be better to just run along this corridor that we are now on and get to the cargo bay wasn't that flooded? Oh, it was. Yes, you're right. Yeah, and also on the ground floor, there was a kind of like this landslide which yeah. led to the pool. Okay, so... let's go up to floor one, Yeah. run the length of the ship to the front to the prow, and then exit through the cargo hold. That's the plan. Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So with um, with this howling beast kind of on the, uh, b- beside you, uh, you flee the engine room as the air starts to, um, well... <laughs> Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> you um, uh, just... What's you know, a minimum safe distance for one of these? <laughs> uh, another universe. <laughs> uh, oh God! So, uh, legend. Lynette, you, uh, you, you know, um, you're like, let's go. So you look and just, you know, as you're leaving the room, you look at your Eber suit and you realise that your glove, uh, the kind of paint, is starting to kind of evaporate oh, off oh the off your glove <laughs> as you move. So um, Aaron Wan hesitates briefly at the door and looks towards his old friend. Hestus, who is kindly screaming Leave him. Like, a, Run. like a psycho. Uh, it's not the man you knew. <laughs> He's not the man you loved. <laughs> and uh, Ritua, uh, you kind of grab him by the shoulder yeah. and say, no, no, <laughs> let's go. And you climb the staircase. Uh, again, you're kind of batting your way, certainly on this first floor, through uh, this kind of horrible mucus, which is everywhere. Mm. And you make your way back up into this mucus-filled corridor. 
at Facecube before.